What you are about to view are the projects that will reverse the economic collapse, that is, if they are implemented. And that will only happen if you commit yourself to do your part in shaping the future. Listen carefully while some of the world's leading experts present these great projects. Sky Shields is a leading member of the Basement Team, which works in close collaboration with Lyndon LaRouche on the unsolved fundamental problems of physical space-time, unified field theory, and cosmic radiation. Sky is the author of several scientific reports on physical economics, epistemology, and space research, and he has spoken at several international conferences on these subjects. NAWAPA stands for the the North American Water and Power Alliance. This is a collaborative project between the nations of Canada, the United States, and Mexico around developing the, uh, the, the region known as the Great American Desert, which is shared between the U.S. and Mexico, making, greening this area, making it fertile, uh, but doing this by bringing large quantities of water down from Alaska, water that would normally be lost as runoff water into the, the Arctic, and bring this runoff water instead down through the continent, through a, systems of, a system of tunnels, dams, canals, etc., transforming the entire route along the way, and creating massive amounts of hydroelectric power for Canada, but in our updated proposal, also producing massive amounts of, of, of clean and potent energy-dense nuclear energy all along the route, uh, building new cities, new rail developments, etc. On, on the face of it, NWAP is a project for greening the Great American Desert. That by itself is huge. Bringing agriculture into these regions, into the, into the, the southwestern parts of the United States, into the northern parts of, of Mexico, that, have, that are right now represent a completely unusable area. Um, you know, in, 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 instead of filling these areas with, with solar panels and leaving them deserts, in fact, making the situation worse by planting these horrible, these hideous fields of, of solar panel energy generation, instead of that to actually green these deserts and bring them to life, uh, that by itself is huge. You're creating new, new agricultural activity, you're changing the climate, you're changing whole weather patterns in, in a really amazing way. Uh, but then the more significant, that, that alone will have a huge impact on the U.S. and Mexico. But more significantly, though, the, the, the work done along the entire route will have a number of other effects. Just the mobilization, the, the scale of economic mobilization that's required to complete NAWAPA means reviving U.S. steel production, reviving uh, U.S. manufacturing, being able to produce the rail that we need, being able to produce the, um, the, the types of power plants, nuclear power plants that we'd need, being able to build the dams, the cement production, everything that's involved in that, and then the mobilization of our, of our engineering force. This is, by itself, that's enormous. The economic effects of that are enormous. What will happen in Canada, what will happen in Mexico, in order to move this thing is huge. This is something that's, you know, comparable, that, that, that should remind you of what was done around things like the Apollo project. In total, NAWAPA is designed to transfer one-fifth of the rainfall runoff from Alaska and the Yukon Territory and collect a total of 5.4 trillion cubic meters of water. Seven dams and power plants would generate 23 gigawatts of electrical power from the water pressure. In all, 88 billion cubic meters of water would be brought into seven states in the USA and five states in Mexico every year. Think about what it means to have the entirety of the state of Alaska developed economically. Look at the, look at the scale of what's required in the dam building and the rail building, the power generation in Alaska alone. Suddenly you've got an infrastructure base there to do all kinds of things. I mean, not to mention the kind of the, the access you've got now to research facilities and other things, to building new research centers in, in the Arctic. But you've set yourself up for building either a bridge or a tunnel, a bridge across or a tunnel under the Bering Strait. 